what are you doing? Stop it! You're out of your mind! Now what? Let's blow this one as well. The keys will be in reception. Come on. The keys are on the chain. We had to blow five to get to you. This place is like Fort Knox. I'll open the inner gate for them. Mrs. Kill her. Well, you can't. She's done nothing. She's a government lackey, Ros. It's people like her who put thousands of innocent people behind bars. Don't you see? She's the enemy! Mick, now just where do you think you're going? Sorry, fella. No way. Talk to the woman can't get in here. Oh, I don't know. About a few things I borrowed from people. A few things? <laughs> yes, I decide to give them back. This is bees. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Oh, Mrs. Davidson, it's about Lizzie Birdsworth. She's still outside the gates. She's been there for over an hour. And when... right. You say it was the taller one that did the stabbing? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought the light must have been left on by mistake. You've got some very strange ideas on fatherhood, Chrissy. Into an alteration for a country. What could that be? Most of them are out now, so if you don't do like I say... If you're not out of here within two seconds, I'm calling the police. This time, they might put you back where you belong. Yeah, they might. Hello there. I think it's a girl, though. Oh, you know who to come to, da Oh, I'm sorry. You know who to come to, your Auntie Doreen. Uh, Simpson, your bail's been approved. Report to reception and collect your things. She's out on parole. That the hostel will... We don't ask what religion. Here, commit the body of our dear sister Lila to the ground. Judy, we're ready for the play reading now. But i got to go now. Die, die, die. <laughs> I'm sure you would all like to join me in thanking Ken Pierce for... ...to do that. We have to present you in a sympathy. Well, there you go. Hello? Hi, it's me. I just wanted to see if you were settled in all right. No, no, I, I just got here. Are 
yes, Miss Bennett, certainly. I'll tell her right away. Uh, goodbye. Oh, Mrs. Davidson, I've been trying to ring you. That was Miss Bennett on the phone. She's just left the coroner's court and said to tell you the verdict was accidental death. Thank you, Sally. Two moping about the place, looking like... Lizzie, come with me, please. Ah, oh, come in, Lizzie. Sit down. Thank you very much. It was the registrar's office. Marcia Huntley, before she was married. Her name wasn't Birdsworth. It was Morgan. Who are you, then? Ellen Morgan. That's the baby, Steve. Yes, what's the matter with him? I don't know. He screams all the time, and I can't do anything for him. He doesn't say much. But he's so affectionate, you know. Hardly leaves me alone for a second. Jason's screaming all day and all night. I can't stand it. Gail, oh, yeah, I'm glad you could make it. Come on in. Tim's not back yet, but I put the kids down and I'll keep checking on them. No, Joyce doesn't. You should hear her when she comes home. Pull out the rubbish. Wash the car. Do this, do that. Anybody think I was one of the inmates? Oh, and you love it. That's why he married me. He likes the domineering type. <laughs> I'm thinking of a change. Norm? Hmm? I'll go if you want to go. To send her back to prison now could only cause her condition to deteriorate even further. Your name is Maureen Maguire, is that correct? Yes. Just look at all this traffic. Hmm? What do you think of the new hairdo? Oh, it looks real good, Jude. Yeah, it should do. It's worth 250 bucks. The screws catch you with that, Lizzie. We'll all be for it. Dear Ken. Him in there yet? Miss Knox. Well, Mr. Reynolds, that's the end of the work scheme. Miss Meadows? What is it, Lizzie? I still don't see. Right down my neck. <laughs> how anybody could have got drunk on non alcoholic wine. Swallow it! How what? How disgusting on your feet! I warned you right from the start about starting up a book. But no, maybe. You'll be a free woman. Well, I for one hope so. Here it was Vince Talbot that Vince Talbot raped her at the factory. So they say they're not going lay, to lay any charges against Talbot. Why? I mean, look what Jeff Butler did to me. And what Andrew Reynolds did with me. We're both victims, Meg. Just like Doreen. Don't you spit to me Stop like that, you loser! Oh, that's that's enough, you white! You're coming with me. White and Gaffney were talking quietly together when suddenly White threw Gaffney to the floor. If I hadn't been there, she could have killed her. Thank you, Miss Bennett. White? What Miss Bennett says is true. You, my dear, are going to get hold of a newspaper. 
and then we are going to take that part of it out of the racing section. But what if Kay finds out it's missing? Well, I'll just say the screw snitched it. Smart, and then we switch it into tomorrow's paper. But there'll be a date on it. Haven't you ever heard of a newspaper being damaged in production? We'll just snip the corner off. She won't notice the difference. Right. That's bull. Tracy's terrified of Kay. Fine. You want to smoke? Can't you read? Look. OK, so I'll give her one for later. You can't pass things to the prisoners. Just one. Good on you, miss. Your blood's worth bottling. Thanks. And you heard Kathleen. She was told it'd stop her from testifying. Did you know Kath was a plant? What are you talking about? What's that crap? It's not crap. Listen. Trip Q. U. Q. U. O. K. What is this? So we all have to stay awake because you can't get to sleep. Mm. Lovely. Oh, what? Mm. Ah, I must be having one of your nightmares. Mm. Oh, I didn't see anyone. I was too busy worrying about my daughter. Do you have a light? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. But I wonder if you realize the seriousness of what you've just told me. Where'd it come from? What's a cat doing in here? We found it out in the garden, didn't we? Yeah. It's filthy. Um, they're beautiful flowers. Doyne Anderson, the girl in question, saved a baby from suffocating this morning. Honestly, I don't know. Mr. Bourne would have a better idea than I have. Mr. Baldwin. Oh, and he says, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow you. Simon can't laugh because he's just had his appendix out, but it's all right. Me playing with them. But it was hard work, all that <laughs> shoplifting, just to get back in the window. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're, uh, you're not keen to stay there now. No. I'd like to be out when little Josie comes home. Eighteen months would be just about right. And hereby order that the sentence be reduced to... eighteen months? You lasted longer than I expected. I knew you'd manage to find your way back here somehow. Just stand there gawking.